Hi, welcome to my channel, Rohit Speaks. And in today's video, I'm gonna, gonna go over a, a very basic question. Is warm showers okay or cold showers okay? And and I know there have been questions and just wanted to make sure you understand when cold showers are required and warm showers are required and what do they do to you, to you and your body. So as you all know, with warm shower, anything warm, it will open up and anything cold will close it down. So that is what is the major difference between a cold and hot shower. So cold showers, when you do, you will it prevents your coldness, it tightens your pores, your skin, it reduces, basically gives you a like kind of a shock, like a, a thermal, I'm using the word thermal, but it's basically you're going below your core temperature. So your body kind of metabolism boosts and gives you a really good feeling. It stimulates your immune system. And also if you have, um, inflammation or mostly like uh, soreness in your body, mostly inflamed muscles and all of that, cold water helps you. On the other hand, hot water basically does is what it is, vasodilates your system. Basically, it will dilate your uh, blood vessels. It will dil open up your skin pores. It will reduce your headache. Basically, any any blood veins and or veins or arteries will basically relax. Your muscles will relax. Your pores will open up, your nasal congestion will come off. Your basically, hotness will open up everything, coldness will close it, and any inflammation is happening, it will bring it down with coldness. So those are the major differences between cold, cold and hot water, and you need to decide when you want to have it. For example, if you are working out and, and you are like worked out and your muscles are getting sore, actually hot water or hot bath, uh, sometimes helps, sometimes cold ba cold water helps when you have kind of hit your muscle too hard and it's kind of very uh, inflamed, you think, then cold water helps. But hot water generally helps with your muscle soreness and everything. On the other hand, if you have nasal congestion and you're going through, uh, like you, you have a lot of mucus and you want to get it out, hot water will help you again to get it out. Of your system and 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 uh, clean up your uh, your uh, respiratory tract and everything. Um, cold water, if you have a lot of, um, for example, um, you want um, let's say you had um, I mean an accident or anything and you got like very so much sores or bruises and everything. Cold water actually helps your inflammation to get down. It helps your core temperature to go up and it gives you a metabolism a boost. So we, according to the day of, on the day, I would recommend or cold water in the morning because it gets you going, gets you started and hot water in the evening if you have the means to do another shower. So it kind of relaxes your system, cleans out of all your dust or anything which is in your body. So basically if you do a cold water in the morning and a hot water in the evening, that kind of helps you um, a much better way to regulate your body. So hopefully this clears up when cold water and when what hot water and what does it do to your body. So with that, I'll switch off this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.